Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Factorial Let's Play. This is Season 1, Episode 4. And I'm going to be working on Green Science for the next few videos. And the first thing I'm going to do for Green Science is I do need some, uh, some iron here. So I'm going to... Actually, I need iron for two things for the first part of Green Science. I'm going to need iron for iron gear wheels. And I'm also going to need iron for the actual transport belts. And I'm wondering if I should have those off the same line or if they should have different lines. That's a good question. Well, let's worry about the let's worry about the uh, the gear wheels for now. So we're just gonna put a, a splitter in here, and then we're gonna run this up here. Um, let's run it up here for uh, nah. Nah, it's probably go this way, a little bit. Always give yourself more space if you can for whatever you might need. So um, the gear wheels are gonna be made. I'm not really sure where I want to make these to be honest. Uh, I think I can make them just right here. Doesn't even matter. I don't think it matters. These are going to be these gear wheels are only going to be for this one thing. So I could probably make the gear wheels right about here. Let's have this run up here. We will have inserters, uh, fast inserters for the gear wheel. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, gear wheel. Yep, that's exactly what it's called. All right. So that's got to go out. Um, that's going to go out directly onto or into. That's only going to be used for one thing, right? As far as I know. Well, I also need to make... I'm also going to... Let's think about this. I'm also going to need to be making inserters. Those also need gear wheels. I could probably use... I could probably use gear wheels for both off one thing. Or maybe I need two. Okay, I'm only going to need one gear wheel for this. So, we're going to have the gear wheels there. Now, the gear wheel is being used for tracks. We also need iron plates. Um, iron plates can come right up here. That will do just fine. So we'll put this right here. The gear wheels will only be going into this, so it doesn't even matter. Um, and you will be making tracks. So now we need something to put the tracks in there. We're going to need some... Uh, I don't think we need fast inserters for tracks because they take a while. Let me see how long tracks take. Oh no, 0.5 seconds. Now we will want some fast inserters. Uh, so we're going to need a fast inserter here. Come on, fast inserters. And look at that iron. Look at the iron. It's, it's, it's like a boss. I love it. Okay, so come on. Come on, inserters. Oh, damn, man. I should have made these earlier. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So I can take those out and put them in there. And it can put those in there. And that should be all I need. Let's test this out. Uh, there we go. And there we go. We're now making transport belts. Okay, so what are we going to need next? The next thing we're going to need is inserters. That's also going to be the, the iron gear wheel and the iron plates. Now, the inserters are going to have their own separate setup. And it's like it's called a like a pyramid setup. And uh, again, I've never... I don't do this a lot. So let's just be bear with me. So I'm thinking like this, like possibly like this. No, I think I gotta leave space. But not space in between them. Yeah, that's fine. And this has gotta be two spots, I believe. Yeah, I think that's gotta be two spots. Trees out of the way. And what's going on with these is we're going to make... The first part of this is going to be... Copper cables. And we're going to have three of these making copper cables. Copper cables. And let's go ahead and make some more of these bad boys. Then the, the next one we'll make... Actually, I think it's supposed to be... One, two... Um... Can I do it like that? I'm not sure. I might have to break these up again. Let's see. There we go. Alright, so you will be making copper cables. Okay, so you're going to need copper plates. Oh, God. We're going to need to run copper over here. Um. Oh, boy. Ugh. See, the problem is this, uh, this coal deposit is really in the way. Otherwise, I would just run the copper right underneath here. Um, oh God, I, I guess I could do it anyway. 
Uh, yeah, let's, um, okay. We're gonna need some more underground thingies. They're called underground belts. And we're also gonna need some more iron now. Okay. I think we're gonna need multiple underground belts, so I could bring it down here. Now, let's do that. What we'll do is we'll put a splitter right here. And then bring this along like this. And, ooh, did I run out of belts? Well, we're making belts. As a matter of fact, since we're making belts, what I'm going to do is really quickly here. I'm going to put a chest right there. And an inserter putting the stuff into the chest. There we go. So now we can save up. We can save up belts. Because we need so many belts anyway. So, All right. So let's uh, do this. Can we do it like that? Now let's go down one more. And like this. Then that'll go right like that. Okay, let's grab some more belts. And this can come along like this. Okay, so this can come up like that. That's fine. I want this as far away from the coal as possible. I don't want this to interfere with the coal. But, although, it's not like we have this... This coal's really not a problem now. We can always move stuff around later. Ideally, I would have wanted the... Ideally, I guess you want the iron on the left and the... Or, I would have... I would have ideally set this stuff up on this side. But then I would have to run the iron under there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You gotta run stuff everywhere anyway. So whatever, it's fine. Again, this is where, you know, you guys know much easier, better ways to do this, more efficient ways. Um, you know, I just don't know them, and I'm just playing the game for fun, so just uh, keep that in mind. Please. Okay. So there we go. So we need fast inserters and lots of them. I, because I believe uh, copper is very quick to be made. Yes. Uh, I don't think it matters where I put it. Let's put this on the bottom. Oh. On the bottom. And then the next thing we're going to take is we're going to take the that and iron plates. And we're going to set these up. These two. To make electronic circuits. Now why do you use three, three of these for two of these to one of these? And actually that's got to be a blue. I believe. For the inserters. Oh, hold on. There we go. Now why do you use three... Two and one. I don't know. That's what I was told to do. So I'm assuming that smarter people than me have figured out the little tricks. So that's that's what it is. All right. So there we go. So now these need to take that out. I also need to run iron over here somehow. Uh, I don't want to mess up this setup. It looks pretty cool. But I might have to. Uh, we go run it through there. Underground. And bring it up. Iron's got to come over here no matter what. So let's bring the iron over here. Uh, we could split that up. Yeah, we could do a splitter here. It's fine. All right, so let's put a splitter here. And then bring the iron this way. And then an underground thingy. Actually, I'm going to have to move that down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to move that down a little bit. Let's pick all this crap up. In case you know, don't know how to pick stuff up, if stuff's on the ground, you just hold down F, and it'll pick stuff up. Okay, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to move this over like that, and then the underground track. And then... We're going to grab some more belts. I don't want to make too many belts. If you ever want to, like, limit the amount of stuff to go in a chest, you click the little X key, and then you put on it how many you want to have of something. So I want to limit the amount of belts. I don't want to make too many. Why isn't it making any more? Oh, because the iron's coming. Oh, because I cut off the iron supply. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So this can come up. Hmm. Okay, so we need... Okay, so what we need to do is we need to put a long arm inserter... Here, here. No, this isn't going to work. 
no, this is not going to work. Maybe there's a way to make it work, but I don't know how to. So we're going to have to move stuff back. There's no other way around it. Okay. So I want to keep the pyramid shape intact. Uh, so if I put this back too far, it's going to look worse. Honestly, I'll go out of my way and take up more room to make it look better. Let's uh, run the belt now. Uh, it comes up through here, right? Yeah. Let's do that. And that. And that. And that. That's not getting power. Nothing's getting power. Oh, boy. Are we out of coal down there? We must be. That's the only thing that would run it out of power. We will eventually run um, our own, like thing of coal down there but for now I'm just gonna do it like this I usually wait until I've automated uh, tracks before I start running coal down here uh, and I have so I will I will start running coal down here and we've got to get these started because we still don't have any power so let's just uh, throw some wood in there everything's gonna run slow until stuff starts heating up but that, that is just fine Yeah, see, I should have put everything here on the... But if I put everything here on the other side, I would have had to run iron from over here to over there. So running copper from here to over there was unavoidable. Because if I didn't, I would have to run iron over there. So it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so... So that's good. Okay, so now we need to put these right here. No, that line's up there. So that goes right there, and that goes right there. Now that's the pyramid setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this copper and run it over a little bit farther. Okay, pick up the copper that's on the ground. I'm, we're not savages. I'm not a slob here. And we're going to take our fast inserters and put the copper in there. Then we're going to need long arm inserters for this. So let's go ahead and make five long arm inserters. All right. So we need to let's hook up this iron while we're waiting for those to be made. All right, there and there. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Alright. It doesn't look too bad, I guess. You know? I don't know. I kind of feel bad. Like, I want to make stuff look perfect, but it's a little tough. Alright, so long arm inserters. So this is... Uh, no, long arm inserters. So the long arm inserters are going to take the copper wire and put it into there. Yes. And then we're going to have fast inserters... Like that. Alright, let's run some power. I want to see if this is going to work. Ah, oh, no. It's, uh, it's not getting power. Um, okay, well, let's move this one down. Nope, gotta move it up. Oh, crap. Alright, we'll just do this. Oops. There, there. There, and there. Okay, set this up with that, and that, and that. Set this up with that. And that okay so something is not working the inserters aren't doing anything because they're backwards oh by the way if you want to um change the direction of an inserter you just highlight the inserter and press r and then you could do it without having to put it back down there we go there we go and there we go 
Okay, so now this part's done. This part's done. So now we just need to... Oh, we're gonna have to use long arm inserters here. I didn't want to. Um, basically, theoretically, the distance between this assembler machine and this assembler machine should only be one spot. Um, I put a two spot so it matches down here so it looks like a proper pyramid. <laughs> That's just the way I, I like to play. So whatever, we'll use long arm inserters. It doesn't matter. There we go. Okay, so now we just need gear wheels and iron plates. Okay, I'm back. And I had to do a uh, little bit of adjustments here. Um, basically, what I did was I took out the inserter here. I don't want, I don't want the gears going directly into the uh, assembly machine, making the tracks. I want the gears to stay on the. Tr I want the gears to stay on the the tracks because I'm going to need them for the assembly machine as well. Um, anytime I take these gears out, they're going to go on the far side of the track. So I had to make sure the iron was going to be on the the right side of the track. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. All right, so let's hook this up, and it'll all make sense once you see it in action. Basically, I had I had a track of double iron, and I it wasn't going to work for this. I need the iron to st I need these iron um, plates to stay on the right side of the track. Okay, so right now I need to put iron iron plates into this for the um, for the gears, and then the gears need to come out and go back on the track. So let's uh, do that, and then I need to put gears in there. All right, so that should that should run both of these just fine. Let's uh, give it some power and see. There you go. It's it's putting the uh, plates in there and putting the gears in there. It should also be putting the plates in there. So I'm gonna have three things working on iron plates. So that might be a little bit much, but I think it'll be okay. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up. This thing's going to need plates and gears, so it should be as simple as this. Actually, I won't even put that one down yet. Let's just put that right there and bring the tracks up. And there you go. Alright, check it out. We should now fully be making inserters. Now we have no way to get the inserters out of there. Um, we also have no way to get the... Uh, uh, we have no way to get these out of here as well. But I've got a way around that. And actually, it's going to be a pretty nice way around it. Um, kind of. So, sort of. Uh, it's going to have to do with uh, long arm inserters. We're going to need a couple more of those. I love these long arm inserters. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a track right here going up. And we're going to take the long arm inserters like that and like that. Unfortunately, they're putting them on the same side, though. We can't have that. Um, so we're going to figure out a way around that. Wow, that actually worked. I'm not sure why it worked. Uh, I just put a track going this way. And when it put the things on the track, it just automatically went on the right side. So thank the Lord for small favors. That's um, How can I do this in future builds? That would be better. Okay, I think in future builds... where You see where the red science is? I think I need this entire build to be on the opposite side of the track of the red science. Uh, I sh if I could go back and do it again, I would have run the iron onto this side and then dealt with it over here instead of over here. Um, because it just gives more, it just, I don't know, it just gives more room for stuff. Um, maybe. There's a lot of ways to do this. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little uh, infatuated with the, the optimal way and I need to stop that. Because there is no optimal way. There's just the way you play to have fun. Okay. So let's do... That, right? Yep, and there we go. And that's it, guys. That's, uh... That is our belt that we need for... Uh, green science. So let's go ahead and make... We need six of these. I don't have any, right? So one, two... That'll be all for the green science, and then we'll make some labs. How many labs do I have? Oh, we actually got a pretty decent amount of labs. Now, let's grab a bunch more stuff. I think we may be able to finish this up this video, hopefully. Maybe I'll cut some stuff out. Maybe make, make the video a little bit longer. Okay, more iron. The iron production is just awesome. Okay, so that's seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Um, okay, so I'm crafting a bunch of stuff. I will come back when it's all crafted. Okay, here we are. And uh, I just ex extended these tracks a little bit. And let's uh, go ahead. We don't want to put our green science making facilities right about here. And that's six. You only need six. All right, so let's, uh, we're going to need more tracks. How are we doing with those tracks? All right, we got a lot of tracks right here. I don't like picking up the tracks. I pick up the inserters as well. But, eh, it's, it's fine. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and put some more tracks down. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to need even more tracks. Um, try to pick up the tracks without picking up the... There we go. Without picking up the inserters. Alright, so this is going to go like this. And like this. And like this. Okay. Now we need uh, now for in order to make green uh, science packs, we don't need a lot. Uh, we don't need fast inserters because it takes forever. So what we're gonna do is we will put these like this and like like this, 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 and that. Then we will use long arm inserters, which we don't have any. We need what six. Uh, let's just make six. There we go. And then this long arm inserters, we'll put it there, 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 and there. Now, this is taking up a lot of room, so I'm going to put the fact, I'm going to put the, uh, the labs down this way. I have, what, ten? Yeah, ten labs. That's exactly what you want. Okay, so... That should, now we should have the green science coming up here. So what we're going to do is do like this. Uh, no, that's got to go. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine just like that. Maybe. Let's have it go up one more just to be safe. Okay. And then we will have the labs just as close as possible, right? I mean, the closer the better. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. That's about five. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. And then the belt comes around like this. Sorry about the darkness. Uh, and then it should come down right here. There we go. And then... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so as you can see here, we want five. We don't have any power. I'll take care of the power in a minute. We want five red science. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six green science. One, two, three, four, five, six. And ten. Ten laboratories. All right, so let's go grab some coal. This is going to be a little bit longer video. Let me go. Let me grab the coal off video. Try and save some time. Okay, now this is going to totally kill our power con uh, consumption. We're going to have to deal with that next video, though. All right, so here we go. Um, we need to set all of these up for green science. Green science. Green science. Green science. Green science. Green science. And green science. Hopefully I've done all this right. Um, I think I've done it all right. Well, we'll see. We're going to find out. Uh, yes. Could have this come up here and go on both sides. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Um. Yeah, I really should have done it like that. <laughs> whatever. Okay, so I'm just kind of thinking, thinking to myself. Okay, so now we just need to give that bad boy power. Uh, how are we going to do this? This goes in between all. Let's just do this. that and then we need power here uh, we can't get both no uh, we can't get power to both that's a shame well we're gonna need inserters too uh, probably regular inserters I forgot these inserters let's go grab some more inserters that should be enough 
Nope, it's not going to be enough. Let's grab some more. Now that'll be enough. Okay, so... Middle? Nah. Just put them on the top. And... Oh my goodness, look, I'm almost out of, uh... The electric... Electrical poles. <laughs> Alright, so... Put these in the middle. Okay. If I set this for upright, we should be ready to go. So, wish me luck. Okay, red science and green science are both doing their thing. We've got red science in all these. Green science should be outputting soon. Green science takes a little while. It looks like we're running a little short on gears. I've got enough room here. I could probably put another gear thing if I need to. Well, maybe. I could probably slip one in there somewhere if I need to. Seems like these are going a little slow. What are we waiting for here? Something... Something don't look right. Yes. We have nothing coming. We have nothing bringing this out of the middle. Uh. Okay. Okay. We got a, we got a mistake here. Uh, let's make some more long arm inserters. We need some fast inserters. The fast inserters can go there and there. And the long arm inserters go... Okay, so you see we made a mistake there. There we go. Now we just need to give it power. No harm, no foul. Now we should be making uh, inserters a lot quicker. Because these should be going just fine. Yes, now th see these are going much better now. Basically what was happening was we were making... Uh, we were making the, um, in the assembler, the uh, copper wire, copper cable, and it wasn't being taken out because we didn't have long arm, uh, long arm, uh, inserters. Alright, so the green science is starting to come along. Let's check our power consumption. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, my timer went off a while ago, so we're gonna have to deal with this power for now. Um, next video, we will definitely de deal with our problems of power. Uh, this green science thing does seem to be running well, except for the power. And we might want to get the iron... I don't know where this iron's supposed to be going. What is this belt in the middle for? Oh, for the red science. Oh, this is coming up here. Okay. Yeah. So we'll deal with power, power next episode. So that's going to be it for episode 4. And we'll see you next time for episode 5. Till then, take it easy.